Ms. Celeste Hergant. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone, a good morning. And I thank you for the opportunity to be heard on this situation. I am a newcomer to all of this, so please bear with me. I might be a bit nervous. I am a lifelong resident of El Paso. I am a uh, registered voter and a voter of uh, some anger in Steve Ortega's district. I understand that the people's vote in November of 2010 spoke with authority, or it's supposed to speak with authority. And if there was an issue with the wording, because uh, I, I don't buy that the voters of El Paso are so inept as to not understand the subtleties of any uh, issue that you put before them. We're, we're not backwards. We're not stupid. I think that city council could have, with the authority that I understand you have, could have worked to join what you wanted to accomplish with the stated will of the people. It is unfortunate that we're here today that I have to, as a newcomer, I guess this got me incensed enough to join uh, and have my voice heard. I voted. My vote somehow didn't matter to you, Mr. Ortega. You decided on your own whim, your own fiat, uh, uh, also coupled with others on this council, to say that my vote was uninformed or unenlightened, that I don't have respect for others in El Paso. Well, I'm a voter and I was given the choice to vote on this matter. We were all given this, the, the issue at hand. We all contemplated, every single voter did. And we came to a decision, and you didn't like it. You said no. Well, we told you no. It is our taxpayer money that is gonna fund this agenda. And we say how you spend our money, not the other way around. This is a council, it is not a round table where lords and barons tell the peons what will be. We work together and how El Paso is going to be represented in the future, not only now, but in the future. So I'm asking the people of El Paso to join with me in recalling you from that seat you're sitting in where we put you so that we can put someone who will respect and listen to the voice of the people and to remember that since we work together, it's not in your best interest to turn around and tell the people of El Paso how dumb they are, how, how hick we are. We're just not that enlightened. Well, I say to El Paso, I think you better wake up. I think that if they can do this to us now on this issue, they will do it on other issues because it will become easier and easier to forget that the voter is out there and that we have a say in what goes on in this city council, this government. So I'm asking for others to join with us 